hey everyone out there thank you for watching so is this proof of the devil I'll leave this for you to decide I'm gonna go ahead and play this right here this 1965 if I were the devil warning for a nation from Paul Harvey and then I know a lot of people have heard this before but I'm gonna play it and I'm gonna show an article I just found that uh, just I'm just gonna read to you and see what you think if I were the devil if I were the prince of darkness, I'd want to engulf the whole world in darkness, and I'd have a third of its real estate and four-fifths of its population, but I wouldn't be happy until I had seized the ripest apple on the tree. The. So I'd set about, however necessary, to take over the United States. I'd subvert the churches first. I'd begin with a campaign of whispers. With the wisdom of a serpent, I would whisper to you as I whispered to Eve. Do as you please. To the young, I would whisper that the Bible is a myth, I would convince them that man created God instead of the other way around. I would confide that what's bad is good and what's good is square. And the old I would teach to pray after me, our Father, which art in Washington. And then I'd get organized. I'd educate authors in how to make lurid literature exciting so that anything else would appear dull and uninteresting. I'd threaten TV with dirtier movies and vice versa. I'd peddle narcotics to whom I could. I'd sell alcohol to ladies and gentlemen of distinction. I'd tranquilize the rest with pills. If I were the devil, I'd soon have families at war with themselves, churches at war with themselves, and nations at war with themselves until each in its turn was consumed. And with promises of higher ratings, I'd have mesmerizing media fanning the flames. If I were the devil, I would encourage schools to refine young intellects, but neglect the discipline of emotions, just let those run wild. Until before you knew it, you'd have to have drug-sniffing dogs and metal detectors at every schoolhouse door. Within a decade, I'd have prisons overflowing, I'd have judges promoting pornography. Soon I could evict God from the courthouse, then from the schoolhouse, and then from the houses of Congress. And in his own churches, I would substitute psychology for religion and deify science. I would lure priests and pastors into misusing boys and girls and church money. If I were the devil, I'd make the symbol of Easter an egg and the symbol of Christmas a bottle. If I were the devil, I'd take from those who have and give to those who wanted until I had killed the incentive of the ambitious. And what do you bet? I couldn't get whole states to promote gambling as the way to get rich. I would caution against extremes in hard work in patriotism, in moral conduct. I would convince the young that marriage is old-fashioned, that swinging is more fun, that what you see on TV is the way to be. And thus I could undress you in public, and I could lure you into bed with diseases for which there is no cure. In other words, if I were the devil, I'd just keep right on doing what he's doing. Paul Harvey, pretty incredible right that's pretty much today all the way so let's go ahead and go to this here article I found from uh, this is from Yahoo this is from back in 2007 and it says Vatican denies Pope plans to field exorcism squads in each diocese to combat Satanism um, and it kind of goes into where I'll just read this first part to you about uh, Vatican spokesman Federico Lombardi told the press on December 28, 2007 that Pope Benedict XVI has not ordered Catholic bishops to marshal exorcists in their diocese to combat a rise in Satanism. Reporting to a report, or I'm sorry, responding to a report in the Daily Telegraph that the Pope had declared war against the devil, Lombardi said Pope Benedict XVI has no intention of ordering local bishops to bring in garrisons of exorcists to fight demonic possession. And this kind of goes on more about that and talks about a whole bunch of history of exorcism and all this kind of stuff. But I want to point out this real quick from this Father, uh, what is his name? Yeah, Father Gabriel uh, Asmorth. He's an 82-year-old priest who has established a reputation in Italy as exorcist in chief, right? And I want to point out something that he said. Very interesting. The old priest believes that the modern mass media has provided many windows of opportunity for Satan to take possession of those with little faith, particularly among the young. Pope Benedict has been quoted as believing in a literal Satan, saying that whatever the less discerning theologist may say, the devil, as far as, as Christian belief is concerned, is a puzzling but real personal and not merely symbolized presence. So our Pope is saying that he's a literal, the devil is a literal being. He exists. 
And we have this exorcist in chief who thinks that the mass media has provided Satan a whole bunch of different opportunities to take, you know, to possess the youth. And I think about how TV was in 1965, and I think about it now, and I wonder, you know, is it just the result of, you know, bad parenting and just society being society? Or, you know, was it the man who may or may not have been in the clouds that day that we all, we all know and remember, right? So I'll leave that for you to decide. Thank you very much for watching. Special thanks to my subscribers. Couldn't be here without you. Thanks.